Brown, who was arrested and allegedly beaten by two Hialeah police officers, he was back on the witness stand again today. And one of those officers is on trial for kidnapping and battery. And he could face life in prison if he's convicted. Local Tennessee Edward Hong is live with more on today's testimony. Leanne. The stakes certainly high for this officer, that alleged victim back on the stand, the defense using some very interesting visual aids, including mannequin heads. You were confused on the 17th, but you're now unconfused. Is that what your testimony is? Yo me confundí del color del pelo, no de lo que hicieron él. I got confused about the hair color, but not about what they did to me. The victim of a beating allegedly at the hands of two former Hialeah police officers back on the stand Wednesday, at times struggling to identify people on video and pressed over a description he gave of his assailant as a man with blonde hair. When you say repeatedly in these statements about the blonde person who hit you, you understand that that is blonde, correct? <laughs> And I also told you that I, had, I was confused with the hair. I told you yesterday and I told you today. All this on the third day of trial for Rafael Otano, accused of beating Gutierrez at a trash dump site and leaving him there shortly after his arrest for a disturbance at a Hialeah bakery. What I'm saying is the truth. Gutierrez is a homeless convicted felon and has admitted to alcoholism. The defense asked him about his prior arrest on drug charges. Gutierrez was frequently exasperated by the line of questioning. So the trial wrapped up pretty early today around 345. The judge had somewhere to go. Things will continue tomorrow at around 915 where that alleged victim will be taking the stand for the third straight day. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.